Welcome to Innovations in the Field, brought to you by BASF. Hi, I'm Colleen Callahan. Last spring, we talked with a farm family in Indiana that grows corn and soybeans. Mike Lawyer and his two nephews, Ryan and Nick Robinson, operate B&M farms along with help from their mother. Weather in their region started out wet and cold, so crop planting was delayed. I would say in our case, you know, it was a lot of hours spent trying to re- adjust for weather conditions and a lot of time to wait and contemplate, you know, what we're doing when we didn't really get a good chance to plant until right at the end of May, the 1st of June on corn. That's Mike Lawyer, principal operator of the farm. He says he plants the corn but gives credit to Ryan and Nick as these 30-year-olds are ready to do their share. Those guys, Ryan does most of the spraying, but yet Nick fills some gaps, and then Ryan will plant a lot of beans. Nick helps with uh, soil prep also for the corn planting. You know, we had several things going on all at the same time. Mike spoke to us in late September, and even though they have had a lengthy dry spell this summer, he's optimistic about having a decent crop. We're kind of somewhat surprised at some of the stuff, the way it looks after going through such a tough planting season. We don't feel like we're going to have anything exceptional on yields, but we think we're going to have some decent yields. Mike and the boys don't take their eye off the target, according to Melanie Burke, their BASF innovation specialist. So one thing that was kind of a new thought in our trials was a V5 fungicide application, because at that point, we were past the water stress, and we were in a drought environment. And so seeing plants with shallow root system be in that drought stress environment, I really thought that we could see a really good impact from a V5 fungicide application. We got EPA approval with our Revisol brands. The one that they got to try was Veltima on corn. Ryan, Nick, and I have walked those fields, and we have Veltima, we have Untreated, and we have Headline Amp. And thus far, the results are are looking very positive. You know, obviously the combine is the final say, but thus far we're seeing a reduced canopy temperature as well as a little bit better disease control. Mike explains from his perspective. Basically just to see if we could gain some early season health improvements, which it seems like it proved out to uh, an advantage. I mean, we've looked at some, some years on those plants Early on, after pollination, they looked like they pollinated a little better. And then as grain fill came along, they definitely looked like they had a little size advantage. Harvest is expected to start in mid-October, and every member of the family is ready to get going and get this year over. B&M Farms and other leading-edge farmers are featured in select issues of Progressive Farmer Magazine's Innovations in the Field, brought to you by BASF. You can also go online to dtnpf.com slash innovations. We have additional podcasts online at this website. Thanks for listening.